Good day, grade 1. Today, we're going to have a lesson that you'll surely have fun with. And the title of our lesson for today is... Ordinal Numbers from 1 to 10. And now to start, let's talk about the numbers that we commonly use every day. And we call them cardinal numbers. And cardinal numbers say how many of something, such as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, etc. Cardinal numbers are numbers that help us when we're counting. Now, this time, let's talk about ordinal numbers. And what are ordinal numbers? They tell the position of objects or persons arranged in order. So please take note of the words position, arrange, and order. And these are the ordinal numbers. So instead of counting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, we do it this way. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth. Now, my dear grade 1, this is an ordinal numbers chart. And as you can see, we have here the symbols for the ordinal numbers and their words. So we have your first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth. Now, we write ordinal numbers like this. So, we add ST for first place or position. So, we have there 1 ST. We add ND for second place or position. So, we have here 2 ND. And we add RD for third place or position. So, we have here 3 RD. And for the rest of the numbers, we add TH or the full sound at the end of the other ordinal numbers. So, like fourth. So, we have here 4 TH. Fifth, we have your 5th, 8th, 6th, we have your 6th, and 7th, we have your 7th. Now, when we write an ordinal number in symbol, we write the number and attach the last two letters of its ordinal word. So, for example, we have your first, and since the word first ends with st, so we have here 1 and then st. Of course, second. So, since second ends with ND, so we have your 2ND. For third, it ends with RD, so we have your 3RD. And of course, for the rest of the numbers, we have your fourth, so we have your 4TH because fourth ends in TH. Fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth. Now, let's have a sample exercise. Here is the English alphabet. Now, let's identify the letters of the alphabet based on the indicated ordinal number. So, A will be our starting point. So, my dear grade 1, which is the first letter? And, right, A is the first letter. There. Next, which is the second letter? And, very good, B is the second letter. Which is the third letter? Great, C is the third letter. Which is the fifth letter? So, very good, E is the fifth letter. And, which is the tenth letter? Nice. J is the tenth letter. Now remember, ordinal numbers tell the position of objects or persons arranged in order. And we write ordinal numbers like this. So we add ST for first place or position. We add ND for second place or position. We add RD for third place or position, and we add TH at the end of the other ordinal numbers. So examples, fourth, fifth, sixth, 
and 7. And of course, the same goes with the other numbers. Now, when we write an ordinal number in symbol, we write the number and attach the last two letters of its ordinal word. So, we have here first 1ST, second 2ND, third 3RD, fourth 40H, fifth 5TH, sixth 60H, and the same goes for the rest of the numbers. So, we have your seventh, eighth, ninth, and tenth. Good job, my dear grade one. Now you already know how to read and write ordinal numbers. Great job!